All right, now what we're going to do here is we're going to recharge, we're going to discharge and recharge a fire extinguisher, right? Right. Okay, show me how you do it. So okay. this one's already been discharged. It's already been discharged. All right. This is the basic idea how you, right. how you do it. If it was still had powder in it, okay. you'd hook up the nozzle, you'd, you'd undo this. Yeah. So the powder can flow in, inside here. It goes okay. through a, uh, a filter. Yeah. So now you're all discharged. So you would take this out like that, the filter spinning out, and you put it into a vise. unscrew it and then you would blow out the head. Alright, we're cleaning it out. Cleaning it out so you would blow out the head. Got it. And, and what's what's in the head? What's the material in the head that you're blowing out? Uh, uh, monomodium phosphate. Okay. The ABC dry chemical. So now we're ready right. to fill them. Alright. So we're gonna put the powder back in yep. what we just took out. So it's a powder, what's it called? Monomodium phosphate. Okay. And that's what puts a fire out. Yes. All right, so how do you know how much powder to put in there? Uh, this is going to tell you, this machine is going to tell you it's going to actually overflow okay. it's when got a, it's full. Yeah, it's got a gauge on it. Oh, it's got a gauge on it. So it's actually a dry powder. It's a dry chemical. Okay, so it's not under pressure then. No, see how it just overflowed. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. So we're going to do this and get a little bit more in there. But after we're done rebuilding the top, we're going to go ahead and weigh it to make sure there's enough powder in there. Okay. And if there's not, we're going to top it off. All right, so we're doing another one here. We're doing another one. We're just going to do. All right. So now we're going to rebuild the head. Is that what we're doing here? Yes. Okay. So we're unscrewing it? All right. We're unscrewing it. These parts have been in there for six years. You see how... That's a gasket. They're compromised, right? right. The right. O-ring. Okay. It's just... It's too... It's too messed up. Right. I mean, it's too flat. Got it. Um... And then you got the valve stem in there. And the same with the valve stem. It's things been sitting in here under pressure for six years. Right. So you don't want to reuse those. Right. So now you got, you know, you still have powder in these things. So okay. you take your solution. Yeah. What's the solution? It's a uh, simple green. Okay. Clean it up. Which is mild, you know, just mild cleaner. Cleaning the threads. Yeah, clean it. Make sure everything's nice and clean. You don't want it to leak. All right. The inside is nice and clean. Blow it up and it. We'll get rid of these. And then we like you've done it a million times, right? Just a million times. You do it in your sleep, probably. You probably Absolutely. do it in your sleep, don't you, Chris? Huh? Absolutely. Do you feel fire extinguisher in your sleep? I dream. Do you fire dream fire extinguishers? All right. Let <laughs> <laughs> put a little lube on there to keep the O-ring nice and moist. Okay. As it's up there for six more years. Yeah. It'll what's be that spring up for? Six more years. That's just a. What's the spring for that you put in there? For the valve stem, so the valve stem can come back up. Okay. Great. Great. Just like that. <laughs> So Chris, every six years, what has to be done? They has have to be, to be broken down and, and recharged every six years. Just so like you're doing this. Discharge. Well, yeah, there's two different procedures. All right. One is just a recharge. Yeah. When these fire extinguishers are 12 years old, they need to be hydro tested, which they need to be filled up with water, and they need to be uh, pressurized. Okay. Uh, most of them are 500 to 585 pounds. Yep. And that's what this machinery is over here. So okay, so when you walk up to a um, an extinguisher that's on the wall and you just recertify it, right. that's because it's less than six years old. Yes. Okay. Yes. Or, or less than six less years. Than six years since the last time it was recharged. Okay. How do you know what distinguishes it? What tells you it's been recharged six years ago? Uh, How do I know that? Either the manufacturer's date. Yep. Or the sticker on the back. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So your 2010. So it's labeled, got it. Right, and then there's your manufacturer's date, 2004. Got so it. Six years. Okay. All right. So, and here's your equipment right to your left. That's the hydro test equipment. Oh. Which is your dryer, your water t water tank. Okay. Your water pump. Right. Which is down here. Your right. water filter. Right. And then here's your uh, hydro test pump. So you would you would hook the fitting up there. The fire extinguisher is full of water, and you would pressurize this to 585 pounds. Okay. And your 
water pump. So it shoots the water inside your tank and it recirculates it through the filter. Okay. And what are these? Dryers? That's a dryer. You put it dries them? your fire extinguisher when you're done. Ah, got it. All right, we've cleaned the head. Clean the head. We've, we've, we've labeled the head, which is important. You have to put the same valve on the same body. Right, okay. So everything's labeled, five and five. So I know this one goes over there. These things okay. need to be about eight pounds. All right. Blow out the head, make sure there's no obstruction in the, in the hose. Mm -hmm. And you're a little bit light. Ah, we're weighing it. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're a little light. light. Got to be eight pounds, you say? Got to be about eight pounds. All right, so what happens is you fill the tube the first time and the powder settles, right? Right, the powder settles. So we got a little bit more room right, now. And you got a little more wiggle room. So right around uh, eight, eight, nine, because you got to uh, account for the weight. Right. Eight, nine, eight, ten. So you account for the weight. So we're eight pounds. Eight pounds. Yeah, eight pounds. Good deal. Rock and roll. All right, so we've got our weight right, so now what are we going to do, Chris? We're going to pressurize the fire extinguisher with nitrogen. All right, why nitrogen? To 195 pounds. Nitrogen is dry. It has no moisture in it. Okay. So that's why compressed air has moisture, and that'll clog up the powder, and the fire extinguisher won't discharge properly. And what's that jelly you're putting on there now? It's the same thing as I use for the valve stem. Okay, uh, just, just a loop. keeps everything wet. Yeah, right. it keeps okay. it nice so it doesn't dry out. Five and five. And this way the fire extinguisher closes real nice. Right. This is where it's supposed to close. Right. Line up. Just like that. Line right. up. And the only reason it did that because I put the same the same head on the same bottle. Right, gotcha. And then you get the fitting. Yes. That's our, that's just what's gonna put the nitrogen in there, right? right. Okay. And, and then you've got a mirror there that? with a the gauge. We're gonna watch that gauge. Go ahead. Put it right up. Right there, it's good. You're done. Good. So there's no moisture in the no tank right now. No moisture in nitrogen, right? Good. Right. No moisture in nitrogen, so it's dry. It doesn't take the powder. Put your discharge hose on. Right. And we're our label matches right up with our gauge. Everything matches right up, real Everything nice. Lines up real nice, so you know what to read, you know what to do. The pin goes in. Pin goes in. And your tamper seal. Tamper seal. So when you walk up to a extinguisher and that tamper seal is not on there, you know it's already been discharged, right? Well, not necessarily. Yeah. You still got to check. You, you would open this up. You would open the hose up immediately, and you would see inside there. If it's clean like it is, yeah. then somebody just maybe maybe just bumped it or dropped it or, you know. Oh, okay. You, maybe they just broke it off or they were doing something and they hit right. it and it broke. What color so is that powder? It's yellow. It's yellow. So if and I see yellow powder in those threads, I know it's been discharged. Yes. Okay. Any kind of powder in the threads, but yeah, yeah. it's yellow powder. Okay, so now we're doing our certification tag. Right, put the serial number on there. Okay. All right. You're done. Good job. Certified. Two extinguishers. Thanks, Chris. You're welcome.